Hi guys! So today I am six weeks and four days pregnant. Sorry about the mess. Um, we're actually moving and we're gonna be moving on April 1st so it's really exciting because right now our place is a little bit cramped and at the new place we'll have much more room because there's actually three bedrooms there. The house we live in right now only has two bedrooms so right now I'm sharing a bedroom with my sister um, because she's only here three days out of the week. So um, and also, my hair's up because it's really, really windy outside. Um, I don't know where you guys live, but um, where I live, it's really, really windy. Um, it almost sounds like the house is going to go over, but it's not. So, yeah. Symptoms this week. I have been having a heartburn really, really bad. Like, right now, I have heartburn, and it's just radiating in my chest. And I don't know if it's from what I eat. I eat a lot of spicy stuff, so probably it. But, um, yeah, it's burning really, really bad. Um, also, yesterday, um, I noticed I was having some bleeding. And I got really freaked out about that. So I ended up making an appointment at the doctor's office. And, um, when I went, um, there wasn't anything too bad that went on. Um, they said the baby was fine. And the baby is actually measuring six weeks and four days yesterday. So it's measuring a day ahead. Um. And I'll show you the new little picture. Ooh, if you can see it. Okay. And there it is. And it also, they also gave us its little heartbeat. And I got to see the heartbeat, so it was really cool. Right there. And the baby's heartbeat is measuring at 126 beats per minute. And <laughs> my grandma went with me. And she asked the, um... The doctor, she's all, so I've heard if the heart rate's really low, um, that it's the boy. And she's all, no, that's just the, you know, old wife's tale. She's all, um, during the first few months, the baby's heart rate is usually a lot lower than it, sh like, than it will be, um, usually. So, they said that in a couple weeks it should be higher. But yeah, so, it might be a boy, we don't know. Um. But anyways, they didn't know what the bleeding was from. They said it looked normal. It was, um, by the time I got there, it was, like, brown. So they said I had nothing really to worry about. But I did have to get a Rogam shot because I am O negative, And they said that that could cause it, too. So I have to get, I had to get one yesterday. I have to get one at 20 weeks. And then they said that after the baby's born, they'll test the baby. And if the baby is, um, positive, they'll give me another shot then. Um. Any other symptoms? I've just been really tired. <laughs> tired all the time. Um, I've been taking naps a lot of the times. Um, usually on my days off, I'll just be like, <sighs> time to go to sleep. <laughs> and I've also been nauseous, but not as bad as I have been. And um, I've been changing what I've been eating in the morning, so I don't know if that helps. Um, it sounds really bad, but I've been eating a lot of carbs in the morning. But it seems like that's the only thing that doesn't make me want to yak. So, um... I've been doing that a lot too. Um, but I also, I've been getting a lot of messages from people asking me if I was going to make a Facebook um, just so it's easier for you guys to message me or ask me questions or whatever. So I think I'm probably going to end up doing that. And if I do, um, the username will probably just be um, the one it is on here just so it's easier to find. Um, so yeah. And as many of you might remember, I have my first prenatal appointment on Thursday. So we're going to be going to that. And it sounds really weird to say that I'm having my first prenatal appointment because I've gone to the doctor before that and got ultrasounds. But um, I'm going to end up going to that. So that's really exciting. And uh, we'll be a little bit ahead of schedule because we already know all the information. But um, apparently it's like a two-hour class you have to go to too. So that'll take a while. But um, the only thing I really have that day is to do is school. So hopefully I'll get everything all, you know, situated. And we actually went shopping last, um, I think it was last weekend. And I ended up getting a pair of maternity slacks. Um, just because my slacks for work um, are really, really, really tight. And that's the only thing I can wear to work. So um, I had to get a new pair of those. And they're comfy anyway, so who cares. <laughs> but yeah. And while we were there, my mom actually already picked up the baby its first pair of juicy shoes. But the juicy shoes are for a girl. And I'll have to show you those um, next time because I don't have them here right now but um so hopefully it's a girl but if not um I'll have a cute pair of juicy shoes <laughs> um 
My grandma also already made two quilts, a quilt for a boy and a girl, um, but she made the boy quilt first. She hopes that we're having a boy, so. And once we do move, I'm going to get the baby's room, oh, it's baby's room slash my room all set up, so I'll have to show you guys that when it's done. Um, I'm so excited to put the curve up, but <laughs> it's going to be so exciting. I was also reading that um, around 16 weeks you could go to um, places like Peek a Baby or Womb with a View and get um, a gender ultrasound. So I think I'm going to end up doing that. My mom said that um, if everything's still, you know, perfectly okay by the time my birthday gets here, which is April 17th, um, and then I'll be um, actually in my second trimester, that she's going to go ahead and um, schedule an appointment there so we can see what the baby is because I'm really excited to find out. I think everybody is. Um, but yeah, so other than that, I really don't have anything else to say. I'm sorry the video is so short, but um, I'll show you my six-week belly. Okay, so here's the shirt on. And here's the shirt up. Um, I'm not really have much. There's just a little bit of bloating. Not really anything that you could tell. So I'll end up seeing you guys back here for week 7 and um, look on Facebook to see if I make that page, which I probably will, and I'll probably get it done by today if I end up doing it. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye.